Yes, you too. Dry stars. Dry stars. Trucking. So, I'm at my delivery. I made it to my delivery. And I'm late, right? I already explained um, this scenario to you guys already. So, I, I don't think I need to go over. But, um, there are a couple of good there are a couple of things, uh, tips that I want to let you know that, I mean, sometimes based on circumstances, you, you will get into difficulties like this, running late. And as a good trucker and as a responsible truck driver, normally it's, 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 it's typically okay to feel some type of way when you're late because that's all. I normally feel if, if I'm running late, if I miss an appointment or a pickup, I, I feel some type of ways. Not knowing that you're working is the, yes, we know that we're working, so we, we should apply to everyone work with the same respect as if, like, you know, like you're doing a business, right? So you have to respect people's time, you have to respect everything as a trucker, even though, you know, they don't respect us. I get it, you know, but for us, being a good uh, worker, you have to just put your best foot forward when whenever it you you can you know so but even that being said difficulties will come where you cannot complete the day without little things coming like for example uh getting in late right um there's a couple of stuff you can do one you can search for the customer number and call the location that you're going right that's it that is the number one thing to do before even calling a broker or a dispatcher or whosoever giving you that load, you call the receiver first and explain to them you are the driver and what happened and you're running. Not on schedule, but you will be there at such time, right? Make sure the time that you're telling them, sometimes you want to do like a, a, a 20 or 30 minutes in front of the original time unless they are closing at a certain time and you're gonna get there on that same time. So you have to just tell them that correct time that you, you, that you have that you're gonna get there. Even though sometimes things may change, but you have to just let, cause if someone wanna close, they wanna close. So you're not gonna have them sitting there and when you could tell them, listen, I'm gonna be there five o'clock. Yes, let's say they close five o'clock and they can sit around and maybe wait on you till five or five thirty to get you off. But maybe they close five o'clock, but they have to go because maybe they have to get kids to pick up there. Cause you know, people have that life outside of work so they will tell you that listen i'm not gonna be here and um you can park in the yard they can park close by in the morning we get you up something but you have to let them know what it is but if it's a case where they close at five or you're gonna get there based on your time you're seeing they're gonna get there at 11 you tell them you're gonna be there at 11 30 you know what i mean give yourself some more time and when you get there early it's better because they're expecting 11 30 maybe you're there at 10 30 or 11 you know what i mean you're already late, but it's just to, you know, mean mean the word that you said and you get there. That just that goes to show them that it's really what you you tell them happen happen why you didn't get there on time because you're a man of your word, right? So it's it's kind of little stuff like that. You have to call them and let them because they will sit, not seeing you coming, miss your appointment time, and what they're gonna do? They're gonna call your broker, or call your company. And then your company is gonna try to reach out to you, and it's an old backup. When you could have stopped it with one call, you could, you could, you could. Your company don't even have to know if you made that call to the to the, the, the receiver. The company don't even know what happened out there. You just doing your job, right? And um, typically, when I get to the receiver, if if it's that bad, then you can. Not you know you don't, you don't need to even wait on it to go bad. You can. Make sure you keep your company, your broker, your dispatcher up to date on everything that is happening. You know what I mean? If it's a tire burst or it's... Because for me, for example, um, when I realized that the custom broker didn't uh, finish my paperwork, I sent an email. I know my broker is sleeping. I know she, she was sleeping. So I'm not going to call her to wake her out of her bed. But what is happening cannot be changed. So sending the email in the middle of the night, when she wake or when she go to work, she will see it, right? So she don't need it. Based on how you construct that email and put every, all the details in it, she don't even need to call it. All she need to do is reach out to the customer and let them know what you said because you already give her 
a full understanding or a breakdown of what happened, right? And yeah, and th so that's what I did. And I write through, I email her when I got there at 10 in the, in the in AM, I, paperwork wasn't ready. I email her when I, when I see that I'm gonna have less than the hours to drive to this location. I email her again. So all those emails have timestamps. So just in case anything should come up, you have everything to go back to or that type of thing, right? But that's just a, like I said, just a small tip just to, you know, cause something you're running difficulties, right? You're running stuff like this. And, and the weather was pretty bad too, right? But it wasn't the, the, the weather issue why I didn't make it, right? But the weather was, that, that could be a story if, if the reason why I was late was definitely my fault and I turned off to do something or I was sleeping forever, didn't want to wake or something, then I can use road condition type of thing to be like, but that is type of me put myself in that type of thing that, you know, find something to put in. But nevertheless, the same is the same, right? Anyway, like I said, I'm here at the location. I'm um I'm at the on the door. I'm on the door. So this is a a, a trucking company. It's like a cross dock type of thing here in uh, Saskatoon, right? So yeah. Anyway, guys, try start. For more videos like Peace. this, please subscribe.